Good morning, this is Patrick McCullough, forecaster here at the National Weather Service office in San Angelo. Look at the upcoming forecast across west central Texas. This briefing is being updated uh, early Sunday morning. I think we're going to see uh, some more isolated to uh, perhaps scattered thunderstorms across uh, west central Texas uh, later today. Can't absolutely rule out that one or two of these may reach uh, severe levels with large hail and damaging winds, the, the main concerns. Otherwise, warm with temperatures, um, high temperatures climbing into the low to mid 80s across the area with south winds at 10 to 20 miles per hour, a few gusts up around 25. These isolated scattered storms continue into uh, tonight. Uh, gusty south winds also continue. Looking for uh, overnight lows generally in the mid and upper 60s. Now, the same general pattern is going to continue through much of the upcoming week, although I think our, our best chances uh, for severe weather is going to come uh, Monday afternoon into Monday night across the area. As the uh, upper level storm system gets a little bit closer. It's going to be our uh, chance uh, for really seeing the most widespread severe weather and, uh, and some of our best rain chances. Uh, I think our biggest concern is going to be a large hail, perhaps uh, some very large hail, larger than golf balls, damaging winds, and we can't absolutely rule out an isolated tornado as well. So again, lay, lay, uh, Monday afternoon into Monday night is going to be our, our kind of the time period when we're looking for our, our, uh, our, our strongest storms and our highest severe weather chances. The other thing to keep in mind for the rest of the week, and again, that's going to start uh, Monday night into Tuesday, uh, but continue off and on through the rest of the week. It's going to be, uh, we're going to continue to see clusters of showers and thunderstorms across the area. Many of these uh, clusters will be fairly slow moving, uh, and when you, uh, they go over your head, they're going to produce quite a bit of uh, rainfall over in a, in a short amount of time. So locally heavy rainfall, perhaps one to two inches in, in an hour or two. Given that, uh, we may see some uh, flooding of low-lying areas. Again, we're talking about low water crossings. Uh, city streets are partic partic uh, particularly susceptible, especially across San Angelo, Abilene, Brownwood, uh, Brady, um, where the city streets are low-lying in many areas. And, of course, uh, other poor drainage areas as well. So uh, best severe weather chances probably Monday afternoon and Monday night. But uh, heavy rain and uh, pockets of flooding may be possible for the rest of the week. Thank you, and we'll continue to keep you updated.